That voice is very familiar to me. Andres Cantor, the lead football commentator for Telemundo, lead commentator for the World Cup, which is coming up next month. So happy to have you here in studio with us, Andres. Thank you for having me. Great to be here a month away from the, the big event. Can you believe it? Right around the corner here. Yep. So let's talk about the big event. And there are so many storylines uh, every year for a World Cup or every four years. What are the main ones? Can you whittle down just a couple that, that are top of mind for you? Sure. I think, I mean, there's very uh, three very obvious ones, which is it's Messi's, Neymar, and Cristiano Ronaldo's last World Cup. Mm. Will, they, uh, will they be able to lift the trophy? I mean, Messi has been so close in 2014. Now Argentina has a load of his back after winning Copa America against Brazil in Rio. Uh, Cristiano, you know, we've seen his struggles at Man U. Uh, we will see how Portugal does now with a big blow of Diego Jota's injury. And, of course, Neymar already has said that this will be his last, and he's playing superbly well in his club team in France. So we shall see. I think those are the three storylines that um, probably will be the biggest ones this uh, this World Cup. Some legends trying to go out on top. Yep. Uh, what about the fact that this is the first time we've ever had this, a winter World Cup. How could that affect the competition, you think? Well, I think it's going to affect it, but for the good. Uh, obviously, the calendars are very compacted right now. They're playing way too much. But anyways, those who get to the World Cup healthy enough, they will have gotten there with 25 games in their season, opposed to the 60-plus games the big stars uh, have played uh, during the regular season when the World Cups are in the summer. The fact that it's in a very compact country where they will not have to travel anywhere, they will sleep in their own bed mm -hmm. every single day, they will literally just walk to training. I mean, not even having to hop on a bus to go to train many of the teams. I think that will do for a better World Cup, I think. Hopefully, it will be such. Well, there are a lot of people in this country that hope for a better World Cup for the Americans. What are your expectations for them? Well, it's a very young but very talented team. I mean, most of the players, the starting 11, Greg Berhalter, will put on the pitch against Wales. Probably will have a lots of experience in their European clubs. I was just with Christian Pulisic on Monday at, uh, at Chelsea, and, you know, they're all looking forward to it, obviously, and they know that they're, they're young. But again, they play at Chelsea, at uh, Borussia Dortmund, Gio... Uh, had some playing time uh, today in the Pokal in the, in the German Cup. So I think if uh, they get all healthy, they could have a good run. You'll be very busy in a month. You're very busy right now doing yes. all these interviews and, mm -hmm. and uh, also calling a lot of Premier League games. You're the lead commentator on Telemundo for mm -hmm. that as well. So I, I got to ask you about the Premier League season so far. What, what has been the biggest storyline, the biggest headline for you? Well, Arsenal obviously has surprised uh, everyone because, like, you know, they, they, they're playing very, very good football. Uh, Manchester United is struggling. We don't know the identity of what, you know, I know Danny will talk about this at length, but uh, I can't tell which is the real Manchester United. Uh, Liverpool, every time it seems like there's a resurgence in their play, they get players injured. You know, Luis Diaz was a big blow now Sunday, Diogo Jota. So they're struggling. And City with Haaland, obviously, I think that is the storyline of this tournament. How many goals will he score? A lot to look forward to. Andres Cantor will be the voice of much of it on Telemundo. Thanks so much for coming in and talking yeah, to us we'll about it. We'll be streaming the games on Peacock as well. So it's uh, Telemundo Universo and streaming exclusively on Peacock. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank Andres. you. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.